My research is really focused on fundamental aspects of early development. So as a graduate student, I started working on the mouse blastocyst because I was fascinated by the problem of how a single cell, the fertilized egg, develops into a whole organism like our cells. It's a very nice, simple system to address fundamental questions of how development occurs. And so over the years, we've continued to work on the blastocyst, first using cell biology approaches, chimeras, cell lineage, later looking at the genes that are expressed in the embryo, then making mutations, developing tools to make mutations in those genes, looking at the transcription factors, the signaling pathways, until we can develop what is really now close to a whole uh, sort of map, a floor plan, a, a, a diagram of the mouse blastocyst. So my research has been a fundamental research, really, trying to understand how an embryo develops. But along the way, as with most fundamental research, it's had impact beyond the discovery and has clinical implications. As well as doing research, it's been my privilege over the last 10 years to serve as the head of the Research Institute at the Hospital for Sick Children. It's a great institution, it's a great research institute, and it's really allowed me to see how important research is to the delivery of care and to improving the lives of children.